All right. Good morning again, and thank you for joining this month's webinar, uh, Driving Digital Success in the Mobile Testing World. I'm Austin Chandler, Senior Content Manager at WorkSoft, and I'll be your host for today's webinar. Um, please use the question features uh, to submit a question. If we don't get to your question due to time constraints, uh, we'll send you a reply via email. Um, today, WorkSoft Principal Solution Engineer Brian Albertelli and Perforce Global Lead Solution Engineer Julius Mong will explore the benefits of mobile testing. Today's presentation will be recorded and a link to the on-demand session will be available for anyone who's not able to attend or anyone who'd like to share or review the session. Due to a number of participants, lines are gonna be muted. Um, before we dive in, I wanted to share a bit about the new partnership between WorkSoft and Perforce. Announced this week, our two companies have partnered to deliver a comprehensive testing suite um, Perforce has been a leading provider of development and DevOps solutions since 1995. They partner with organizations that need to accelerate time to market and reduce risk in environments where the cost of failure is high. Their mobile testing platform, Perfecto, speeds up test creation with as many test combinations as you need to boost your testing capabilities. If you don't already know, WorkSoft provides industry-leading process discovery and test automation capabilities. Together, our two platforms provide what we think is the most comprehensive continuous testing suite on the market today. That's what this partnership is really about. We believe Perfecto and WorkSoft are better together. So with uh, without further ado, I'll turn things over to Julius. Hi, thank you. Thanks, Austin. Um, so thanks everyone for having me. My name is Julius and uh, I look after the uh, solution engineering for Perfecto and uh, which is a cloud-based solution for web and mobile test automation in the Perforce family. Now, I have over a decade of experience in software development, consulting, QA, and test automation across a few industries, and I'm very excited today to share my experience with you in this webinar. I am particularly excited uh, about the partnership that Perforce is forming with WorkSoft to offer a truly comprehensive test suite or testing suite incorporating everything from extensive mobile, web, performance, API testing to SAP, S4HANA migrations, and Salesforce implementations, et cetera, et cetera. We will have an overview of what tools Perfecto will make available to you and your teams and how they will fit into your overall application and software test strategy. In this session, we will also be looking to explore with you the current state of mobile in business, what are the best practice approaches and technologies digital winners are leveraging today, perhaps with a spotlight on mobile apps, test automation, as well as a holistic test strategy that covers both the front end, which would be the face of your business with perfect, uh, Perfecto by Perforce, and uh, the internal package, business apps and internal ecosystems that matter just as much to your business uh, using WorkSoft. First of all, who is Perfecto and Perforce? Now, Perfecto is a, a enterprise continuous testing platform uh, for powering high quality mobile and web applications. So with the most comprehensive collection of real and virtual mobile devices, uh, you can have the freedom to place devices in any data center that uh, Perforce uh, operates and have them available as a cloud uh, facility, basically, you know, for, uh, for accessing devices for manual testing and automation. And through this platform, you're also able to do, um, you carry out a lot of advanced scenarios, which we will explore later on in this um, webinar. So um, the technology will provide you with um, advanced capabilities also to automate possibly the most complex end-to-end -end user journeys and being a key integral part of the wider Perforce organization. We have been serving over 80% of the top 40 global banks, majority of the world's tier one telcos, as well as many, many industry leaders in their own right, ranging from financial services, retail, telecommunications, automotive, gaming, digital media, verticals, et cetera. So we would love to be able to share our industry experience with you uh, in the future. Now, the Perfecto platform is, has, has a high uh, emphasis on the requirements in physical security as well as data security. So what that means is, you know, anything that you, you're hosting with Perfecto, there is a, um, uh, an emphasis on uh, being able to secure not just the physical 
location, the physical uh, you know, presence of the mobile devices that you may be looking to test on um, with your applications, but also the data that potentially would be uh, residing on these devices and also used in your tests. So, um, so this is ultimately very important for many organizations and Perfecto is the leader in that space to uh, be trusted by most of the financial institutes and uh, amongst many other enterprises. The solution also offers, you know, as part of the Perforce family, uh, ranging from performance and load testing, test, synthetic test data creation, API testing and monitoring, asset management, statical analysis, version control, ALM, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a complete solution that now with adding Worksoft to the partnership, uh, we're able to provide a very, very comprehensive portfolio for uh, solving many challenges that our enterprises uh, uh, the clients may be facing. When we look at today's world of business and how most enterprises interact with customers, you, you will probably agree and hopefully it will resonate is only a few years ago, right? So we're talking uh, just before COVID hit and of course, you know, COVID changed a number of things, but uh, or only accelerated it. So that only a few years ago, less than half of adults would use mobiles to manage their banking transactions. And if we look at today, probably you know uh, i mean as you can see the numbers but depending on the markets in the uk it's 86 percent. i think it will be even higher in the us and uh and also in other parts of the world then uh it's because it's banking has become so personal and uh, it is it's become very very important for uh, banks in particular to make sure that their applications have to work and they have to work from day one of any os any new devices that come out on the market and also for anyone, you know, who would be installing the applications on their personal device. So that has, you know, massive implications in terms of the test strategies that organizations have to put in place to make sure that they have sufficient test coverage, they have sufficient device coverage, um, and also functional and non-functional test coverage. So much so that there's an overwhelming present, a preference uh, as well, uh, in, in testing on real devices. Then if we fast forward, uh, you know, in, in, in to 2023, 2024, we've also noticed a few trends. So majority of um, purchases that are made online, as well as payments that are made online, um, there's an overwhelming uh, uh, preference by the consumers to use native mobile apps over desktop browsers or even mobile web browsers. So what that means to, uh, again, organization is that there, there needs to be a, a highly focused mobile test strategy to make sure that mobile, first of all, they have mobile native apps, but also secondly, the mobile native apps uh, or hybrid apps for that matter, you know, um, they must be rigorously tested and uh, their quality uh, ensured to be of very, very high standard or the higher standards. So what do we mean by risks when it comes to the mobile world? Most often people would assume it is the apps failing to work on a device. Uh, is it as simple as that? Maybe, maybe, but uh, there's also, you know, even app demonstrates production defects. It actually has much larger implications to the business than a simple customer complaint. You know, people like to complain, but uh, it only takes us, a, a, you know, a, a couple of negative reviews on app stores to really damage the brand, right? And then drawing from your uh, own personal experience, I'm sure most people will be able to relate. If an app you use in particular, anything personal, like a banking or something that is, you know, a shopping application that you uh, use day in, day out, if it does not open within three seconds, you would probably already think something is wrong. You know, something is wrong with my money is gone, right? Or, or some other, you know, more personal emotions will start kicking in. Now, if it happens more than once or even worse, crashes, 81% of people will simply uninstall it, right? That's it. But what that also means is, is that not only have you not just lost the customer, you have also sent your customers to your competition because they will now start looking at your competition and they will probably never come back because of the poor experience, the one poor experience that they've had uh, with, and, and they would probably stick with your competitors for years to come. And in this day and age could even have a ripple effect by word of mouth. 
because of you know just the the widespread use of social media and multi platforms and so on. So it is very very important. Again, uh, the business impact is not just a simple case of a couple of customer complaints. It can be. It can uh, have a, a massive ripple effect. So the potential brand damage can be can be uh, very huge and. The, so, so enterprises, if they put, don't put the necessary mechanism and processes in place, as well as uh, leveraging the best technologies out there to make sure every aspect of uh, not only their front end, but also the, uh, you know, the back ends, the services, the API endpoints and mobile gateways, as well, as well as any other back end services that ensure the performance and stability of the platform as a whole will be as fail safe and is of as the higher quality, highest quality as possible, then that would have massive uh, implications. So how do digital winners overcome these challenges today? They would look to minimize manual testing. So that's an obvious one. So, you know, mo mo majority of our enterprises, it is quite uh, surprising that even today, we when we talk to uh, potential clients, there's still a widespread of manual testing that is in place. Right, so you will never get rid of manual testing. There's always going to be manual testing, especially for new features. But what if you can automate 90% of your total test coverage? You know your regression that you're running. You can run them much more frequently. You can run them every night, every two hours, or whatnot. And that means not only functional, but also non-functional coverage you can start adding to your automation. And as well as having a wider spread, a wider device or targets platform coverage. So when I say target uh, platform, these could be your uh, you know, OS versions, developer OS versions, not just uh, developer o uh, betas, not just the public betas, but the developer betas. So you get there and start testing as soon as it comes out and before any anybody else. And even for new devices, right? So we now have foldable phones and so, so many different varieties of phones and form factors. Uh, it's very difficult for uh, organizations to keep up, but it is important to keep up because then you, 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 it only takes a, a small number of failures uh, and ad crashes and so on to really cause a lot of brand damage. Now, it's also important to have a robust test uh, platform to execute your tests on because that is almost as important as having the correct test coverage. So the execution platform also needs to be very stable, high availability, and, uh, and also uh, very robust in terms of uh, parallel execution. You know, can you execute tests once you've created the test? Can you execute on you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 devices in parallel uh, and uh, be able to um, you know, take automation to the next level? Now imagine you have 5,000 tests executing every morning, right? So maybe the six hour window every morning, you have your regression and you're testing your latest build of your application, the customer facing applications or internal application for that matter. Um, even just 2% of 5,000 tests, if they fail, you're looking at 250 test reports. Even if you send one minute on each, you've lost four hours. So it's also important when you're looking at a platform to uh, execute your test it, that it also offers you smart analytics right ai driven uh, analytics and root cause analysis that actually preemptively does some of the analysis for you so it, it will then significantly reduce the time it takes for you to do triage right so then in turn what you are able to do then with te existing technologies that are available with perfecto today you can reduce that time from hours to minutes so 10 minutes before stand up, you have a look at that and you know exactly where you are for that for that day and what you need to focus on. So that's another aspect that uh, you know, digital winners are doing differently is to, uh, first of all, automate, but build robust automation and then have a platform that they can trust to execute the automation as well as have the uh, necessary analytics that is smart and intelligent uh, to help them significantly reduce the time it takes to make sense of test results so that they can make instant decisions. So this is where Perfecto comes in for many of them. And we have been serving enterprises for different enterprises for nearly two decades in providing 
the bread and butter, of course, you know, the, um, the, the mobile devices, uh, the, the web browsers, the real devices and so on to, uh, to help them execute tests, to allow, to, to provide a platform for them to execute manual testing automation uh, at scale, which is completely cloud-based. So you don't need to run your own uh, in-house facilities and all you need is a web browser or web connection. Now, and then uh, also it's a, you're also able to access a lot of smart analytics. This includes like different dashboards, heat maps that would highlight uh, or problematic devices or maybe a specific resolution or specific uh, OS version, you know, maybe the latest uh, iOS 18 uh, developer beta, your app didn't work well on that. So you know instantly which device or which, uh, you know, criteria that you set is showing you problems, then you can concentrate and focus on those. And you're of course able to do cross platform analysis, you know, test, run the test on 20 different devices and then see uh, how they behave, they potentially behave differently across them and so on and so forth. And also it's a platform that provides tools for different personas within the organization. Uh, so this could include business testers who need to do manual testing, the estates, right, who are familiar with uh, a lot of sophisticated test engine, uh, sorry, test automation uh, frameworks and uh, coding practice and so on. And of course, developers of the application. And, uh, and the whole platform, you're also able to integrate with any existing industry standard tools, like for CI, CD, for test case management, for uh, version control, et cetera, et cetera. So it completely uh, seamlessly integrates with all of that to allow you to be able to do your uh, continue well, to achieve continuous testing as well as continuous uh, integration and continuous delivery. And uh, we we guarantee day one support. So any OS version, any developer beta devices, uh, you know, as an example, foldable devices we had, uh, for example, the Samsung fo foldable devices, we had them in our lab testing a week before public release. And that's also relies very well, it, it also uh, due to the fact that because we have a lot of robust uh, partnership with telcos of the world, and because of that, you can imagine these people are the ones who have first steps at the latest devices, often for internal testing before public release. And because of that, uh, and, and because they use Perfecto, and because of that, we have to support them and we guarantee day one uh, access of this. And that's also important to many organizations, especially customer facing application platforms that they run. Now, with regards to features themselves, right? So your applications may be doing a lot of different things. Uh, that go outside of the package application. So maybe you have your application, maybe it's a banking application, then what does that mean, right? So in your test journeys, you probably have to validate by biometrics, face ID, touch ID, fingerprints, whatnot. And so when you're testing, especially with a device that is on the cloud, that is not in your hand, how do you do that? So Perfecto has this capability to, for you to be able to do face uh, and, and touch and biometric validation, both failed and successful validation. So you can carry out a lot of test coverage. You can carry out a lot of uh, complex user journeys that involve this and uh, substantially extend your test coverage and automate the whole process. And you're also able to put the device in a location. This could be a physical location. If you're retail, this may be useful for, you know, store finder. If you're automotive industry, then, you know, route planning, uh, a location of cars, uh, and, contain, and, and connecting with your smart infotainment systems and, and so on and so forth. This can be of uh, tremendous value, but you're also able to put the device in a specific IP geo location. So this could be like, uh, you know, anything that is geo friends by uh, IP address in uh, in country IP address, you're also able to put the device in uh, that uh, environment as well. And of course, you know, anything that includes a multi-factor authentication, this could be, you know, simple case of SMS or uh, authentication apps, you can absolutely do, but also have multi-device interaction. A very common theme is uh, in in banking industry, but um, many other industries is uh, you may have to combine the mobile application interacting with a, uh, a, a second device, maybe an, an, a banking app paying another ba banking app with another account, maybe in a, a, uh, you're trying to make a transaction on the mobile device and you need to complete that rest of the journey on a, another uh, device platform. So these are also important and are you know, completely supported with a solution that is perfecto. 
And you're also able to override the camera. So what that means is, you know, if your application needs to take a picture of a QR code or face uh, for validation of identity, uh, passport, or, you know, et cetera, et cetera, although the devices are sitting in the cloud in the data center facing a wall, you are also able to override what the camera captures and just dynamically, you know, uh, inject an image to complete your complex end-to-end -end user journey. And, uh, and of course, depending on uh, the use cases, you may have also the ability to do audio uh, and meaning audio in injecting an audio sequence into the phone that is remote. Uh, and this may be, you know, the obvious use cases, calls or voice activated assistance or, or um, you know, AI uh, engine that takes voice commands and so on and so forth. We are starting to see that trend uh, in this new world of AI as well. And these are, of course, things that you can do with uh, the solution. And amongst many other things, one of the most useful uh, and important aspects to testing for our clients that we have seen on the field is the ability to also test in different network conditions. So if you're making a transaction and you can simulate a scenario where your client is making that transaction and then they walk into a uh, a, 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 uh, an environment where there's no internet connection or very, very high packet loss or latency, then how should your application handle such scenario? And when it does, uh, you know, when, when, it, when it fails, does it fail gracefully or does it just bomb out and crash? Obviously, those would be bad. Of course, there are also smart dashboards and analytics that will dramatically shorten the time it takes for you to do triage, as well as integrating with other platforms such as Worksoft to further consolidate a complete front to end, end to end test strategy. We will save it for another webinar to walk through more details in the perfecto uh, analysis or analytics uh, aspect of things. So, so uh, do join us when we have a, a future uh, webinar on this. So we have so far visited the importance of testing the face of uh, your application. So what about the rest of the business? So this is where the seamless integration, the seamless uh, synergy between Perfecto and Worksoft can offer. And Brian here is going to walk us through how combining the two can extend to a truly complete end-to-end -end continuous testing platform, leveraging the powers that are available to you today. Thanks, Julius. Hello, everybody out there. This is Brian Albertelli, solution engineer here at Worksoft. Um, I come from the process side. I, I really spent the last 10 years focused on process improvement, identifying how we can make a process more efficient, and also then automating those processes where it really makes sense. And, and that's where our analogy really begins. So it, Julius did a great job of breaking down not just what Perfecto can do, but also why it's important. And if you think about that end-to-end -end user journey Within a mobile device, Perfecto has us absolutely covered and, and can totally provide a ton of value for us there. But if the mobile app functions as the face of the business, then the packaged app or the back end, the accounting systems, the SAPs, the Oracles, the sales forces, they in a way function as the brain of your business. And those of you on the call today, they might be folks that are familiar with Worksoft learning about Perfecto. They might be folks familiar with Perforce and Perfecto learning about Worksoft, or maybe you're somebody just in the middle. But what we at Worksoft do better than anybody is test those package apps on a desktop, ensuring that the brain of your business is continuously functioning and working as designed. So the best part is, is when you put these two together, we're not only just testing the mobile piece. We're not only just testing the brain, the application, the back end. We get that complete end-to-end -end coverage. So by starting with the mobile device, think about like a work order. Where does the work order start before a technician uses the mobile app in a process? Oftentimes it starts upstream of that mobile app. But then what about downstream? What about after the work order is complete? How do we then account for that? Worksoft and Perfecto by Perforce coming together will provide you all the best complete end-to-end -end coverage across all of your business processes, no matter which applications that they 
are executed in. But let's take a second and focus on how WorkSoft creates value along this end-to-end -end process. Simple terms here, guys. What WorkSoft helps you do is discover, test, and automate business processes. And it starts with that upfront part. How do we know which processes should be automated? How do we make sure that these are the ones that are the most frequent and the best ones to start off if we're moving from a manual testing environment to an automated testing environment? WorkSoft technology makes it easy to discover and document how this business is done so that we can help you accelerate those automation opportunities. Once we've identified the right processes to focus on. In terms of speed to value, WorkSoft stands alone. From being able to identify, to build a test, to get it ready to run, nobody does it faster than us. So ultimately, we help you automate the testing as well as that reporting, coming together with Perforce, giving that one central view of process automation and process testing within the business. And think about us coming together as this insurance plan to make sure that those mobile apps work so we have a good customer experience, but also upstream and downstream of that mobile application, all the data flows the right way so that we can protect the business as we roll out new features faster and faster within our organization. And then we get into the real engine, the automation, right? We don't wanna just run this, say, you know, a couple of times. When we have the capacity, we wanna run this as much as possible. That way we have confidence that at any point in time, one of our customers or one of our employees are accessing one of our systems, we can ensure that they have a great experience. And it's with this lights out type of automation that helps us do this. And from a financial perspective, the accountant and me can't help but say, the more efficiently that we can do this with automation, the better impact that has to our bottom line. So now let's switch and talk about an example of where does this fit in? We've been working with a number of folks and have some really cool use cases, uh, but for the sake of the webinar, we wanted to just kind of keep it a little bit easy. So let's think about, you know, something that every company does. Every company wants to hire folks, hire new people. And we just picked a particular application that, you know, what are the two major steps involved in getting ready to hire a new individual? There's really two major parts that we boiled it down to. The first part about it is actually creating the job requisition. Now, I don't know about you, but when I've posted job requisitions in the past, that's something I do on my desktop. It's something I usually do on a meeting and get some help from the team so we can identify those correct requirements. I could do that on a mobile device, but nine times out of 10, 99 times out of 100, I'm doing that on my PC. However, when it comes to searching for jobs, think about what Julius opened the presentation about. People do these types of activities on their mobile devices, whether it's a tablet or a phone, so where do we go to apply for jobs in our example? Well, we do that in a mobile application. So ultimately here, the example that we wanted to show is that there are tons of these, but both upstream and downstream from the mobile application, we need to ensure that they both are working as best as possible so that in our example, we can attract the best talent to join our organization. So what I wanna do now is just take a look. And we jumped right into the middle of an automation and execution. This would typically happen lights out in the background. But what we are doing is we are creating that job requisition from within success factors, so that we can start to accept applications. Once we receive those applications, we can then make a decision best on the best candidate moving forward, and start that interview process. But the first part here is is the work soft automation in action, uh, setting up those particular details on who is needed. And just like that, you know, we've completed that job requisition and now it's available. And seamlessly in the same automation, now we pull up a mobile device and now we can test the other side of that. 
we can pass the data back and forth between the two systems so that we can reuse that components, right? We'd want to look for the same job requisition that we just created as a part of this flow. So ultimately here, the point of this demonstration is to just tease out the idea, hopefully get some interest on where this might fit in your organization. It might be technicians in the field that use mobile apps and uh, use trucks, right? To make sure to go around from customer side to customer side. It might be internally like we just showed within HR. It might be on the sales side of where we, we, you know, you're checking Salesforce from an application and we want to practice making sure that if I submit an order, it flows through the system correctly. The opportunities are endless and we want to work together to discover those pieces of opportunities and get them tested in the right way. But what we just saw was, you know, uh, we almost call it attended automation, right? We have the results that are still presented on the screen in front of us, but I also wanted to talk about where Worksoft's strength comes from. And that's that ability to orchestrate this execution across multiple devices. So what we're doing here is just a quick example of kicking off a test. And the way in which we get a lot of work done in a very small amount of time is through our continuous testing manager. It spins up these agents uh, in, in your cloud or on-premise, or on whichever way you'd like to deploy the solution. But ultimately, this allows us to get a lot of work done, a lot of processes done in a very small amount of time. And the other key part to showing this part is in the demonstration. In the bottom right-hand corner, we're taking a look at a different mobile app. So Perfecto and Worksoft coming together to maximize the value of both of these solutions is really where the strength and everything comes in. We schedule this to run, we can trigger it from other applications as well. So this is a, one of Worksoft's strengths that I just wanted to demonstrate to you so you can understand where the real results and power of this partnership coming together come from. So what we just saw is that continuous testing manager, let's think of it as a, a, an automation scheduler, right? What it did is it spun up these four different applications. We saw uh, the SAP GUI, we saw uh, Fiori as well. We work great with both. We can actually convert SAP GUI tests into uh, web GUI tests on, on the Fiori side. We also saw Salesforce and we saw a mobile application. The point being is that up and downstream from that mobile application, this partnership helps ensure we're testing all of the different variations in that test that's as possible. Playing in with per beyond just Perfecto, it's important to think about how do we as an organization approach continuous improvement, continuous development? How, how do we do CICD? And the cool part about this and the useful part is that we want to adapt and fit into how you approach uh, agile or waterfall, how you go about getting tests executed and ran. So oftentimes our customers will trigger these executions as a part of a pipeline uh, from different ALM solutions. So ultimately we have that ability as well to be able to fit into your approach to automation, your approach to developing new features and providing more value, executing those tests in the background. So when you wake up the next morning, like Julia said, you know, you have these tests that run, you know exactly what to focus on before your standup. And we can actually pump those results back into the source system as well. And just as easily as we saw uh, the different applications being uh, executed across a desktop, we could also have all of these be mobile devices as well at the same time. So our powership, our partnership is incredibly powerful. We're very, very, very excited about what we can do together. Um, as I said before, we have all of the ingredients to really help you solve challenges to ensure that what we are testing are the right things to be tested, all the different variations, and we're incredibly excited to partner together and to bring this solution to help you solve problems. So what did we talk about? Let's kind of bring this into conclusion here. Um, what does each side really bring to the table? Well, we want you to walk away remembering from a Worksoft side is that beyond the mobile device, 
and including the mobile device, we can use WorkSoft to help you discover, test, and automate processes upstream and downstream of the mobile device. And Julius, would you take us through the last little bit here on the on, on the Perforce piece? Yeah, of course. Thanks. But um, so so what what it means for um, the, our clients with through this partnership is as as we uh, demonstrated in this webinar, hopefully that you know the face of the application or face of your business, the mobile applications and uh, the customer facing applications as well as uh, possibly internal applications that your you know members of staff use can be put in to a continuous testing uh, environments where through automation and through manual testing, uh, the quality of the application can be maintained. And then also adding to that so that you can complete, complete the test coverage, not just the front end, uh, but also the processes that the brains, as Brian puts it, uh, behind the solution, they would also be taken care of. And, uh, and then also be able to test all of these, the whole process from uh, end to end, uh, completely uh, automated or partially automated, but to have a complete test coverage across all of these uh, and establish all of, you know, many different quality gates across the whole process. Now, having said that, Perforce, uh, with, which Perfecto is part of, also will continue to add to this partnership where, um, you know, not just limited to functional, non-functional testing on the face of the uh, bit of your business, uh, and also, uh, of course, you know, the, the, the process testing and so on that's um, works off covers, but also be able to add to it uh, other aspect that Perforce would be able to deliver. And I mentioned earlier on about being able to, for example, uh, offer test management and traceability capabilities, also the performance aspect, right? So, uh, and what about accessibility testing, right? So your applications, even if they were used internally by your members or staff, uh, they would still have to meet uh, accessibility regulations in in country, depending on where you are, uh, as well as uh, perf uh, performance of front end performance of the application, as well as load and performance on your back end services that support these front end applications. So scenarios such as when your uh, maybe your you know internal application that or, or yeah internal application that your members of staff use on the field, but what happens when they are in load and network environments and your backend services are being uh, loaded with, I don't know, 50 million users, how would that experience be for your uh, engineers, for your field agents that are out in the open uh, and trying to use the same services? And would you be able to test all those? Would you be able to predict scenarios and also make sure the application as a whole uh, application platform as a whole will perform under such scenarios and that is another aspect of things that perforce would be able to uh, provide coverage in addition to um, uh, working with workshop and then what about the test data the test data generation you know uh, many organizations use production data as snapshots of them and then sort of scramble them and use them as test data in some countries this is even uh, not uh, completely legal so what happens to producing test data that is production-like, but not production data? Then that's another aspect of things that Perforce also have been working, uh, well, serving a lot of our clients with is to have AI-driven uh, ability to test, to generate test data that is uh, as close as you would get with production data, but it is all synthetically generated. So, so that meets requirements, it meets regulations, but it also allows you uh, and, your, uh, and our, our uh, many clients test their systems, uh, front end and back end uh, systems very, very um, uh, reliably and uh, with very, very well formed and validated test data. And of course, service virtualization. So this would be, you know, you're testing your application that may react or interact with 20 different API gateways. Now, if something happens and uh, something fails with your platform, how easy is it for you to, to uh, narrow down to which bit of the, uh, of the process is failing? So with server service virtualization, you're able to then do things like 
virtualize every other API or services that your applications talk to, except one. And then measure the, well, test the functional aspect of things, measure the performance, and you move on, repeat that same process for every uh, uh, other uh, service or gateways that you use, your application uses. That way you will, you will know exactly how each of them performed and how each of them may be the bottleneck, how each of them may be the, the culprit in, um, in when, when things fail. So in which case then you can virtually, if you can virtualize these dynamically, uh, so, so not even manually, you can have these services virtualized dynamically driven by uh, many different means, you know, by code or by any other means, um, and have that whole process as a continuous monitored uh, uh, test strategy so that when anything fails, you know where it fails and you can attend to it immediately. So that's another aspect that uh, with this partnership, we're very excited to provide a complete coverage that we believe most enterprises, most uh, business would face day to day. Uh, some possibly well, without even not realizing or, or acknowledging uh, where things you know, or where, where these potential gaps are. So by being able to fill all those gaps with this partnership, um, we are very excited in uh, being able to then provide to our clients, to yourselves, the complete coverage and the complete technology and the people behind the solutions that we put um, in place. So hopefully um, we, ha we have demonstrated at a high level, you know, what this uh, potential partnership can help put all the pieces of the puzzle together to, trans to perhaps transform your continuous testing efforts, your test strategy, and from mobile to performance, to SAP, Salesforce testing, and uh, to test in a more streamlined, efficient, and scalable way. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Back to you, yeah, Austin. Thanks, bro. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Julius. And thanks, everyone, for joining us this morning. Um, we really hope you gained some useful insights to apply to your organization's test automation and mobile testing strategies. Um, a link to the recording will be sent uh, on Monday. And uh, yeah, have a great day. And we'll see you next time.